In this video, I'm going to show you how to insert a raster image into to do that from a logo or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my Sparty S, and I already have it saved. It's uh, in my files. And I'm going to go to Insert and go Raster Image. And you can see a little preview right there. I'm going to hit OK or Open. And um, I'm just going to hit OK on, on these menus. And I'm going to get as close as I can to the origin. And I can scale it. And I'm, I'm good with that. So now I've got good old Sparty here hanging out. And I can't just send that over. I have to do some drawings to it. I have to trace over the file. The, the snaps don't recognize the drawing inside. They just know that you have a box with some sort of picture inside of it. Uh, but you, being the human being that you are, can trace around. And sometimes you may have to turn off object snap and quickly recreate the drawing that you have here. So I'm going to pause it and I'll come back with the completed Spartan S. Alright, so I've completed my drawing and uh, polar snap was very helpful in this case. If you have a drawing with lots of angles, it will be a little bit harder. And in the next drawing, I'm going to show you how to use the arc tool, which is very handy for angles. So I'm just going to click on the initial drawing that I brought in, the, the raster image. I'm just going to hit delete. And you'll notice the green is replaced by the outline. And then now I can take this and bring this into WinCam just by doing the same things I did before. Saving as, making sure it's a DXF file, hit save. And then uh, just come over to WinCam. And I'm going to go import drawing and hit OK. Now that's something that you need to be aware of. You have to make sure your scale is appropriate. And that's an easy fix. I can go back to AutoCAD. I can highlight this drawing. And if I manually just want to change the scale, I can just make it bigger. or I can even go and apply a dimension to it. If you've done Pro-D, it's, it's very uh, similar. I can click on this line. I can click on this line. I can right-click, and it'll pull out a dimension. So I'm at 1.5 inches tall, 1.5 inches tall. That'll still fit in my space, but it may not be centered. It may not be how I want it. You would have to draw your border around that and then uh, manipulate this um, S to fit in there. So. I'm going to just hit File, Save, and we'll re-import it to MSU, and we can get that cut like that.